Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within this cursed estate and we are ready to jump in on another adventure. And we actually have quite a lot to take a look at today. Um, we've had quite a few diary entries submitted and we also finally have our backstory for our exorcist. Uh, so I'm just going to grab that now. Let's see what our name is for this character. This is going to be... Um, Lucio Rodriguez. Oh, this is going to be an absolute nightmare for me to type out if I can't just copy-paste it in. <laughs> Come on, let me copy-paste. Let me copy-paste. Damn it. Okay. Lucio. It's got the little umlaut over the U, but I, I can't do that on my keyboard, or at least I don't know how. So I apologize. Rodriguez. Okay, awesome. So Lucio Rodriguez. Rodriguez um... I'm going to keep him in the green robes, to be honest, and I'm really excited to use this class, actually. This class is quite a lot of fun, and he's an off- he's meant to be an off healer, but I went into the files of the game and buffed his healing a little bit, because I'd prefer him to be a, a main healer rather than an off healer, um, and- because, as well, his damage isn't amazing. I think that kind of balances him out a little bit. Because in previous series, I've used him and I've found him to be very, very weak. And so I think buffing his healing will make him a particularly good asset to the team. So we've now got him on board. And we have, like I said, quite a few diary entries and stuff. First of all, let's just get into Lucio's backstory here. Because we, of course, have one prepared and ready. Um, let's get right into that now. Let me pull that up. Okay. So this one's actually in the form of diary entries from other people, which I, I kind of like. It's 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 a really cool idea. Um, so let's jump into this. So this is di the diary of Lysander. Uh, we know Lysander. He's our... Um, he's our... Where is Lysander? Where is Lysander? Lysander, here he is. He's a cleric, uh, cleric errant. Definitely interesting to have a backstory from him. He's actually the character that I made the backstory for. But yeah, let's get right into this. This is by Lamica. It seems like the church has sent their own um, emissary to the lands, and not as if he he has attempted to disguise his poisonous. Those holy garments and staff he carries with him at all times can be recognized by anyone with such ease, and his name, Lucio Rodriguez, it's not one commonly heard around these parts either. He didn't seem to speak our language, only understood it, and if he did, he seemed to uh, prefer communicating both in his mother tongue language and the conquistador overseas as and Latin as well. Of the conquistadors overseas and Latin as well. So as per the local abbey's request, I now shall proceed to transcribe any and all conversations and writing he may be conf uh, he may confine to them. Maybe even some belongings to those who found him before sending them away, if we are lucky. Yeah, I will tell you. We were coming on that cart driven by the um, methodic madman when we found the, uh, that guy under some rubble surrounded by corpses. I still don't know how the fuck he survived. Shit looked like a fucking massacre. Wow, getting brutal here. We brought him with, uh, with us in the back for the rest of the trip. It took him a while to wake up, but as soon as he did, he started saying nonsense. I couldn't understand a thing of what he was saying, but he seemed to be grateful, so was, there was that at least. And then we have um, Cusio, the Plague Doctor, dismissed. At last, my prayers have fine. Uh, that sorry, that was by the Plague Doctor. Interesting. Um, at last, my prayers have thank uh, have thankfully been heard by the light. Merciful as she is, I have slowly begun to lose hope, trapped into the remains of the caravan that brought me here for what seemingly felt like an eternity. But now I'll allow my faith to father and uh, to far to falter any further. For there is much work to be done, and with the light on my side, ever since um, from my lowest moment of childhood, I will do but my best to honour her name and teachings, no matter what it may cost me. Very, very interesting. I really, really like that. And like I said, we do have some other bigger diary entries as well. So let's uh, let's have a little look-see about taking people out and see what we want to do here. Because we've got the um, ink Incate... I don't know how to pronounce that. Incant Flesh? The Flesh. We have the Flesh there. Um, which would give us the uh, Tide's Law, which is just a lot of extra stuff in the curve, which is actually pretty darn nice. I'm very tempted by that. Or we could go out into here as well. I think we'll try and go for the Flesh. Um, it's kind of an interesting one, really, because we, we want a lot of dots, I believe, if we're going to do the Flesh, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, that's kind of what you want to be going for there. Um, let's have a little look-see. Just seeing if there's anything else that really speaks to us first. I think this is probably going to be the best one. Um, let's take a little look. So we did do a bleed build in our last run, so might not be the best to go for a bleed build again here. Uh, but I believe in the Warrens... I 
can't I can't remember if the Warrens is blight or bleed. Um Hmm. This is kind of a tricky one, really. It's kind of a tricky one. We've got a lot of people to, to take out here. Right, one second, let me pause and I'll take a look at this boss and see what we can go for. Okay, so this guy is actually kind of weak to uh, Blight and Bleed. So I think we're going to take Uriel here, who has just been... Just joined us recently, and I, I really like him. We actually took him on a mission by accident recently, and it kind of caused some trouble. We'll take um, Renetta as well. We will take our Plague Doctor, Helen. And I think we're going to probably take our new Exorcist as well, in terms of for healing. Because then we've got a heal here for Blight and Bleed, and a heal here. Um, let's just make sure we've changed everyone's moves around to fit the situation. So these, this two, they're fine there. And then you've got, you've got some good stuff going on. Helen's is all fine. And then here, we definitely want to change these up. So we want to go with, uh, Tressa's eyes is Eldritch and Unholy. I'm pretty sure the flesh is also Eldritch, right? Um, let's have a little look-see. The flesh is indeed Eldritch, so we get a bit of extra damage there. So we'll definitely take that. Word of Power has extra damage against Eldritch as well, and it buffs itself. Um, and then we've got Stun, Mark, and Crits Received. We've got the Healing, which clears Stun, clears Horror, clears Mark. Really nice. And we've got the De-Stress on Clear Corpse, which is interesting. We've also got Mark Target at a block and Buff Target with extra damage and crit while marked. Um, hmm. I think I'll go with this and then we'll, we'll stick with that. And then in terms of trinketing up here, let's, uh, let's take a little look. So, of course, with this guy, we want to go for the full healing shebang. So, 30% extra healing there and 35 there for a big buff to healing. Um, with... You here, we want to go for the bleed duration, things that we've gone for in the past. Where is that? 30% bleed amount applied, and then... Where's th we, we do have another bleed-based trinket, don't we? Um, I believe. We have all of this with the stun chance. Okay, that, that's pretty good. We'll maybe use that. Um, thought we had another bleed-based trinket, but I don't think we do. So I think we're just going to go for... The 20% extra chance, which is going to be pretty nice. And we'll stick with that. It does lower our speed a good bit, but I think that should be rather nice. Um, and then Renetta here can go with this here, which is going to be extra blight amount applied. And we've also got, okay, a blight skill chance as well. 25% bleed resist. Uh, we've got extra max HP and prot there, which is rather nice. That gives Adder's Kiss the extra damage. Do we have Adder's Kiss on? We do. Okay, so we have back and forward. We also have Impale there. Good, good. So then maybe, maybe because we're going with Blight on you, we'll, um, we'll take this to lower your damage overall, but it'll be uh, getting the crit chance on because we can use Impale to, to work with that. And then what do we have here? Do we have any Plague Doctor Trinkets? We don't. Okay, so... In terms of stun and blight, what do we want to go for here? Well, we've all got relatively low HP here. Uh, how would you fare with um, extra 25% max? Do you know what? We'll give you 25% max, and that gives everyone exactly 30 HP, which I just like. And we'll give you the debuff. Um, and what else do we go with here? Friendly skill buff target with prot is kind of nice, but not super valuable. Accuracy... Um, extra torch on attack is kind of nice. We get stun chance and... Yeah, let's go with that because we get stun chance and blight chance out of that and debuff chance, which is good because that's a debuff, so that works well. And then I think that's everyone sorted. Good to go. So let's quickly read another diary entry here before we get straight into the um, into the run and I'll uh, go and upgrade everyone. So this one is actually a joint uh, one between Rookerin and Blank Gaming. And this is a fireside chat. The party sits round the fire, chewing their rations to the crackling wood. Um, Basi Basilica breaks the silence. Well, I think it's fair to say victory is assured. We've ne'er a scratch, eh? The ball slams to the stern as Kaya stands. Care to change that? She starts, uh, confused as he approaches. 
Want some, huh? The Guardian darts between them. Chaos, she meant nothing by that. Please calm yourself. Calm, calm. He takes a wide, wi uh, a wide swipe, though ducked easily. Um, though the second one staggers him back some. The others begin to move. The Guardian gives him a look um, to not interfere. As they stand down, uh, stand down, the next hour is spent evading his brutish swipes. Chaos stands before him, panting, but still angered. Not a wound on him, but that's not the point. Another swing, overstepping and stumbling. I know why you are angry, but is this what she would have wanted? She would want you to grow from this, not to crumble down even further. The brute drops his hands, um, dro drops to his hands and knees, trying to hold back the pain. I know you're hurting, but I feel it as well. Before I came here, I cared nothing for others. Cared for nothing, really. But now it seems to be the opposite. The two face each other, and Chaos holds a piece of bluish green cloth. Ne um, never tried to see it, through Chaos, uh, though Chaos jerks back. After a moment, he, he hands it to the Guardian. It was um, a felt bookmark, with stitched words into it. You are not a monster. It hurts, the brute, the brute says. It hurts like every wound at once, the no bandage for it. I feel that pain, Chaos. That you couldn't be there for them. And there is nothing that you can do uh, that, that can take it back. But you can grow. And we can end this infernal place run by the blood hungry, hungry madwoman. Never hesitate as they reveal a clawed hand, avian in nature, and rests it on Chaos's leg. Some may not see past what you show, but those that look deeper are better for it. Chaos looks to the talon that never, and then at never. I've never met um, quite a few. I've met, sorry, I've met quite a few, but you seem like more a man than them. A slight chuckle. Yes, Eileen says much the same. The brute shuns away at the name, spitting before his remark. The shepherd to Hades herself. Guardian realises he made a mistake by mentioning her, and quickly thinks of a way to change the subject. Say, other than visiting the tavern, do you have anything else that you do for fun? A sheepish look. She, a choke word, and then again. Kimber said I wasn't that bad at, um, wasn't that bad at, I wasn't that bad a plants as long as I take them, take, as long as I talk gentle to them. Wasn't that bad at plants, sorry, it was a slight typo there. Kimber said I wasn't that bad at plants as long as I talk gentle to them. A short laugh. She said I was going to be um, using all of her medic medicine plants. I might as well grow my own. That's quite the coincidence. I was going, inv going to invite you to a little clearing in the weald. Um, I've been working on cleansing. It's nothing big, but healthy. Non-parasitic plants. Uh, life is thri thriving in it. We can visit tomorrow if you're up for it. He responds with never before heard um, from him enthusiasm. The same crooked, broken and chipped tooth smile. Sure, I wouldn't mind that. Keep those damn plant men away from me too. Well, fellow non-monster. The healthy crack, uh, the healthy crack of knuckles. Let's go cross ourselves a proper monster. Ready to fight the swine prince. Whoever spills his gut ha guts harder gets a drink from the other. <laughs> nice. I like that. I did butcher some of that, but that's always going to be the case in long diary entries. I am bad at reading. It has been proven. Anyways, let's quickly make sure these guys are up to the task. Make sure they're all leveled up and ready. And we can go ahead. So, you're all good. You need to level up your first four skills. You're all good. Oh, actually, you can level up some skills as well here. So, we'll go with... Boom, 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 and boom. You're all good. And then in here, you're good. But good. We've, we've lost a lot of money there, but Viara, you're going to be going out a lot more. I, I apologize, but you are. It's just the truth. Right, and we'll take on the flesh. I think these guys are ready to go. I think this is a good setup, a good build for these guys. We've got a lot of blight, a lot of bleed. Um, and we got a good amount of healing here. Wait a minute. Um, ooh, I just noticed. Okay. We want to be switching positions between these two, I think. This is going to give you a little bit more to do. I didn't realize that Chastise only works up front, so I might want to take that off for now and put on Ashes to Ashes. And we'll see how that goes. Anyways, let's grab our provisions and we'll, uh, we'll head off. We're going to the Warrens on a medium, so we'll grab 14 food, 3 shovel. We'll just grab 3 of everything. We can get rid of two of these. And then we'll go and grab 
16 torches. Okay, we embark, we are ready to go. My zeal for blood rituals and summoning rites had begun to ebb, as each attempt invariably brought only failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become burdensome. Interesting. Okay, right. Uh, let's go for another diary entry. Like I said, we have a lot today. So this one's by Penn Simmons. This is for Eileen. She sits in a dark in the dark of her room, desperately sanding off the black of her helmet with a piece of brown tombstone from the graveyard. She curses God, the butcher, the ringmaster, and herself as she cuts up her hand in the work. She is not smiling anymore. Her teeth are gritted in frustration, guilt, and sorrow. She sees flashes of Kimber's terrified fear, a terrified uh, yet resolute face. This was meant to be a fun jaunt to find new fighters. Nothing serious, nothing real, just another show for an audience. But the curtain did not just fall, it burnt. It took the stage and the players and consumed uh, and, and the costumes and left just Eileen. She's alone, was left standing in the embers of a destroyed facade. She paints the helmet bright gold. She um, painted a target for all monsters, unnatural and, human and uh, uh, unnatural and human birth, so they get a good shot next time they come for her family. Her family that despised her today. But she will not let another die in her place. Whether they cared for her or not, they earned that much. She looks into the mirror as she goes to put on her helmet. Who is that? That um, disheveled hair, bloodshot eyes, smeared makeup and a dour expression. It looked like some sad runaway took her place. How long had it been since her face was not obscured by some mad helmet? How long since she could look at herself in the eye and say she was a hero, let alone a good person? She sets the helmet back down, washes up and gets dressed in ordinary clothes and reaches for the door. The show is over. Time to face the crowd's eye. Interesting. So one, of, one thing that's part of that, as you might have just sort of gathered from that diary entry, Eileen is going to be changing her costume to one that more befits her uh, her actions. So we're going to change that when we get back, if I remember. If I don't remember, please make sure to remind me. But yeah, we're going to we're going to try and uh, remember to do that. But yeah, let's see how these guys fare. Let's see how we go here. I'm sure this will be a, a pretty good one. I'm just hoping the healing that we have here is enough to to withstand everything that we can potentially come across. I also didn't check for a. Um, for a nighttime ambush prevention, which is my bad. Surprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Okay, first battle. We do have one of these guys in the back. We're going to take him out as soon as possible. So we'll go Pierce on you first. And that didn't debuff you. Um, oh, no, we don't have that on you anymore. Okay, that's fine. My bad. Um, right, so let's see what sort of heal we get here. Crit for 10. It's perfect. Nice one, Lucio. I kind of like the idea of Lucio and uh, Uriel coming out together as well. I think those two pair really nicely. Nice amount of bleed there. Nice debuff too. And we can go with this for the stun on both of those guys as well. We take even more bleed and then we get that debuff. That's a really nice combination actually with uh, Helen here. I like that a lot. Unfortunate stun there. Nothing terrible. We can deal with it. Um... And then we impale. A singular strike. Nice, that blights everyone. Good, good. And now we go for this. That's even more crits received. You guys are pretty much dead. The butcher's cut coming in. Dodges help out a ton. Yeah, I've been wanting to take out Renetta as well. Renetta's been sort of staying at home. Biding her time, but she's definitely ready now. Nice one. You're dead as well. Good, good. You're dead as well. And you are taking a little bit of damage, but not a lot. Nice crit. This is beautiful. This is a really good setup of people, I think. I like this. Nice hit there, Renetta. Good damage. And we bleed you even more. We're hitting bleed and blight just the same. Good stuff, and we even get a powder keg um, trinket there, which is rather nice. And we get some scouting too, which is lovely. We shall head on through the rubble. We've only got one shovel left, so that was probably wasn't the best idea to go for that, but that's fine. 
Hopefully we can get a good amount of gold back here. I might even extend past killing the boss. We've got a negative quirk removal here, which is rather nice. Oh, really? Well, he's going to get in a turn now, isn't he? Oh, no, he doesn't. Nice. Okay, let's kill this guy. Nice. We'll make sure he doesn't get the stress on us. I'm going to go for the stun on this backline guy, even though it's not super necessary. And we'll hit you. Good hit. Good bleed. Very good bleed, indeed. Wow. One hit kill. What you like to see. We're going to need some healing here, especially if we get the bleed on us. We didn't. Nice. We do have that 40% plus bleed resist, which is nice. We do have the ability to remove bleed as well, if we need to. Um, I think we're going to go for Blight on you. Even the Blight resistance on some of these enemies is higher. The humans still take it just the same. And we'll go for Addis Kiss there. That's you dead. Let's heal you up. Another crit for 10. Beautiful. Slowly, what I like to see. This, bit, this guy, like, these guys are going to do really well against the boss, I think. We're going to build up Blight and Bleed so goddamn quickly. It's going to be insane. Nice one. Right. Let's see who we want to, what we want to get rid of on these guys. Burnt Out. Burnt Out's actually a pretty good one to get rid of. That's a lot of speed reduction. Um, Helen... I'd like to get rid of Coward, but I think, I think honestly, Burn Out is the best one to get rid of here, if we can. Ah, yeah, we got rid of it. Nice one. Awesome. That really helps out. All right, let's go this way. See if we get any more scouting as we go. A map inside. There you go. Love it. So this is good, because now we can see where we can go after the boss fight, if we come out of it feeling good. Because I, I do want to uh, go for more money here, make sure we get as much as we can. And I think I, we've got a lot of places to go here. But let's uh, let's see what camping's got in store for us. Remove disease is self-only, though. We don't need that. Um, we'd actually, to be fair, we'll have Renetta's um, nighttime ambush with the the snakes. Maybe we'll leave. Maybe we'll leave this for after the boss. Thinking about it, yeah. Let's leave this for after the boss because we're gonna have the snake ambush, aren't we? And I don't really want to deal with that right now. All right? Who's got the good disarm? Ooh, wow. Helen, you know what you're doing. You really know what you're doing with those. Good, good. But let's get into the boss fight. I think we're good to go. The flesh is here. Squirming, contorting, and ever expanding. Okay. This horror must be unmade. Indeed it must. Sanguine stroke. That's actually fine. I don't mind that. You passed a turn, that's weird. I think that's because he just doesn't have a location to hit anything. That's some blight there. Um go with that. I'm going to waste a turn here to clear that off just because I'd rather not take a lot of damage there. Heal for five. Nice. More of life. Good dodge. Well done, Renetta. And now we can go for Adder's Kiss, which has double the amount of Blight. So Blight and Bleeds are going to stack up real high with these two. You can keep healing yourself, but that doesn't heal through the Blight. And we'll hope that we can get some Blight on there as well. Very good, very good. You pass the turn again. I like that. I like that a lot. Do that. Good blight overall there. Good in increased crit chance as well. Word of power. Um, I guess while we don't need the healing, we could do word of power and it'll keep buffing itself up and get stronger and stronger. More of life is definitely the attack that can hurt us the most, but we can deal with it. damage there as well. Yeah, this this guy's going down quick. We can see it already. You're doing the Sanguine Stroke here, but honestly, that doesn't bother us all too much. I love the fact that this guy keeps passing his turn. Perfect. The invasion there. Luckily, we got away from that. I think I get more bleed out of doing that, to be honest. I'm 15. You're almost dead already, my guy. It's not been good for you. Let's try and get some healing in, shall we? It's only five. It's not an, an amazing amount. We'll cl clear that as well. I think you're pretty much dead as you are right now, to be honest. 24 damage. I'm pretty sure you're going to take 24 in the next few turns. Even if you heal yourself, I think you're still dead, right? We'll see. Not quite. Not quite. That's unfortunate. 
We resist the blight there. There you go. Very, very easy fight against the flesh there. We, we came with a group that was very well prepared. But we will, I think, we'll, we'll be a little bit greedy here and we'll, we'll keep continuing on our adventure. Oh, that's only 30% damage. Okay. I thought that was um, heal up. Another abomination cleansed nice. of our lands. Heal ourselves up a little bit. It's only healing for five, which isn't a lot, but it's better than nothing. Another one falls. Indeed, another one falls. I know Blight won't do a lot to you guys. Actually, that, that does kill you. Nice. The bites here are going to be problematic, but we can cure that off, hopefully. As the enemy I'm actually going to go for a move here and try and get a heal in. Thank God for that dodge. Nice. Okay, feel better about that now, and then we kill you with that. Beautiful. Nice one. I like that very much. We regain some of our money here as well. Go around this way. See what these curios are over here. I am curious about these curios. May we find victory. Torch. Holy water there. We might not even need to do a camp, you know. Like, I know we can progress Renette's story, but considering we don't have to prevent nighttime, I'm much I'm a little scared to do so. Plenty of piles of burns with holy water on them. Just giving us quite a lot of extra money, to be honest. Ooh, we got um, a swine leader here, which is a new modded enemy. I don't know what they do, but let's try and take them out quick, because they have a lot of HP. I'm sure this guy's going to be a reasonably tricky guy. Um, we'll heal up ourselves. What can we get here? You have pretty high blight resist. Let's go for the stun instead, then. Take out the guy that can do the hook it where it hurts. We can break that guard, which is nice, um, with Renetta. We'll try and do that. That's going to move us or stun us. Oh, not neither. Nice one. Okay, I don't really care which one of these guys I hit. Either way, you're going to bleed and die, so it's fine by me. I'm just unsure what sort of attacks this guy has, and I'm sure some of them can be pretty brutal, so we're going to have to be sort of well prepared for that. There you go. Bricks guard. I think I'm just going to cure myself there. Try and bleed you out. Good heal there. No crits, unfortunately, but it's fine. Grond? What the hell is Grond? Oh, Lord. That's what Grond is. Maybe this guy's a mini-boss, then. Is he a mini-boss? Because he like that seems like a very powerful move to have. Destroy them. Okay, that's marked for Grond, I'm guessing. And everyone got buffed. Oh, God. This is this is tricky. This is tricky. We've got a little boss here. Trundle. So you're going to buff yourself. Okay, he gets a lot of extra damage if he's in position one. Um, I think I just want to go for an attack on you. That's you dead. Good. And I guess we want to take out... Your Blight Resist is actually not that high, so we'll try and go for a Blight on you. I don't like you being marked, good sir. Thank God we dodged the hook it where it hurts, though. That's very nice to see. This guy's got a lot of prop, so good job we've got uh, the ability to fight through that with bleed and blights. That's you gone. Oh, that kills Grond as well. Okay, good. Okay, that was a mini boss. Interesting. We dealt with him pretty well, I think. Victory. I'd say. Um, fifty percent damage if HP is below twenty percent. That's actually pretty interesting. Um, and then, the Man at Arms one I'm not that bothered by, but I guess I could take it. Let's get rid of these. And... What's our map looking like? We can get rid of a shovel. Cool. Right, back this way. Interesting little mini-boss there. I thoroughly enjoyed that fight. Definitely not a particularly hard one, but I'm sure that later down the line... That would become a lot, lot harder. Um, let's take a little pause uh, in this next room here and read another diary entry.
Let's have a little look see here, shall we? One second. Where are we looking? Here you go. Okay, so uh, this is another one by Penn Simmons for Bagman. Um, tap, tap, tap. I'm bored. Everyone's been so lame since Kimber left. He sits in the bar t uh, talking to a raggedy looking patron with fiery red cl um, close chopped hair nursing uh, a soon to be lukewarm mead. She didn't leave, she died. Bag, Bagman, you, you, need, you need a better name. Bagsley. Bagman is just a bit plain. I wear a bag. I am a man. It works. And you said the ringmaster lady took her. You didn't say she died. Maybe she's just um, their new coffee girl. You don't know. It's the circus. You lose, you die. It is the way it is. You're gonna get your ass kicked, I um, Eileen. You still breathing? What gives? Well, it's... I mean, I don't fucking know. Garbage boy, she slaughtered our bloody um, morale to make a, a point. Kimber is dead and we gotta live with that. You're a lot less fun now uh, that you got fired, Eileen. Drink your mead. Maybe you can be funny again. And you're still a um, psychopathic um, and... I'm amnesiac, a psychopathic amnesiac with no grasp on reality. Things change and yet stay the same. At least you don't want me dead. I never said that. I'm just on a break. If you're talking about the um, gilded meth head, well, chaos is a teddy bear. I think that you just need to survive the mauling and we can be all be friends again. Yeah, I'll do that. It's kind of interesting. Bagman's just like... He's just a psycho, and I love it. He's just an absolute psycho. We've got another one here. This is um, The Blood Earth by Dr. Samus Junkie. Um, Hasashi uh, sits alone in a room, having packed for the upcoming expedition. He rests on his knees on the floor, staring at a small object resting on his bed. A small glass box plastered with banishment uh, talismans containing the fiery soul of an Ernie, the same he'd showed to Koshkin. He hasn't lied to the bounty hunter about it, he did kill it and seal it away, but he hadn't brought it with him. It was left in the care of a priest in his homeland, one he had trusted to keep locked away from the world. So how did it end up here? You must have gone through a great lengths to find me again, demon. Hasisha speaks to the box in his native tongue, as he closes his hand around it to hear the soul's response. You want to offer me another bargain? We are going uh, after a great foe, but this time... Um, make the rules. But, yeah, but this time, make the rules. Dot, dot, dot. Very well, monster. But I don't have to tell you what happens if you try and double-cross me again. The race glove's hand crushes the glass box, imbibing the demon's power into himself with a grunt and a sigh. Just a, um, uh, just a knock hits his door to remind him it's time to go. Very interesting indeed. Okay, let's carry on. I'm going to do all the battles in here, I think. I think it's worth it. It's, it's definitely a bit risky, because we could come across some really ugly furs. But this this team is really, really powerful, I think. Try and take out whatever this guy is first. I don't really know what he is, but I think we want him dead. Hey, there's another crit. Lucio's doing a lot of crits at the moment. It's very, very nice. So on both of those. Ooh, you, you did resist. To be fair, you have a high, very high stun resist, so that makes sense. But you're both dead now. With that surprise, it helps a lot. We get webbed there for the mark. That's fine. I don't know what this guy's going to do. I'm guessing it's going to be stun. It wasn't the stun, okay. I thought he was going to stun. He looks like the sort of guy with this little blunt stick that he could stun you. He might have another stun attack somewhere else, but we're not seeing it right now. Nice kill. Just one spider remains. The bite after the mark does hurt. Not too bad. 24 HP will heal you up instead. Okay, good. You are taken out. Nice one, Renetta. You don't need that shovel. Come through here, do this battle and turn around, I think. This is a, a lot of stress coming our way, but we can hopefully deal with it reasonably quickly. These guys do have, do have high speed, so we're going to get three lots of stress here. Luckily, we're very, very low stress right now, so it's not a very big deal. It's just a bit of a big deal. That's you dead. Good, good. Heal you up. 
You do have a higher blight resist, but we have high blights, so that's fine. We'll do Addis Kiss on you to kill you fully. Nice one. And then one more hit. Oh, wow. Nice one, Lucio. Very nice to see, indeed. Very nice to see. A portrait, why not? We've got two more room battles and a hallway battle over there that we can go for. I might just do this as a single mission with you today because we've had a lot of diary entries um, and we've sort of full cleared this area. It's not what I'd normally do, but I think it might be worthwhile for this episode just because we've got a lot of story to go over. We've still got a few diary entries coming our way after this. As the light gains purchase, right, not particularly bad. We've got two stress dealers in the back though. Six damage is decent. Pulls you forward as well. That stress is going to be annoying. Try and take both of you out. Executed. And we can stun both of you in a sec as well. Stumbling Scratch, that moves you forward. Hey, Word of Power again takes that guy out, I love that. Let's go for the stun on you. I know it's only stunning one enemy, but I'd rather stun the Stress Dealer than anyone else right now. Noxious Blast will hopefully take you out next turn. Indeed it will. And Addis Kiss on you. Good, good. And we'll go for the bleed on you as well. And that's you taken care of. And it's just taking out the back line now. And again, Lucio with Word of Power works goddamn well. Works really goddamn well. Plus that 30% damage is really nice too. And you take a death. We're swiftly chopping things down right now. This, this group is... Uh, Brutal. Really good. Driven into the mud. Ah, really? Curious? Just torches? Come on now. Need a little bit more than that. Only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Right. Some treasure in here and a fight. Pretty standard lineup. Try and go for this guy first. Good damage off the bat there. Stun him as well. Awesome. We'll hit them both with the bleed at the back line. Honestly, actually, let's try and go for Word of Power here. We might even be able to get a kill right off the bat. No crit for you, thank you. And we'll bleed the back too. We don't want to let him get to the front, so we have to be careful. Should be easy enough, though. This guy's going to be dead pretty much straight away. We can do Impale, actually, here, and that'll kill him and blight other people. Another stun on you. Fortunately, the drums still bang on, but we have high dodge for some reason, so working out for us. I think that's both of you dead now. We keep on with the word of power because it's just doing so much damage right now. Honestly, buffing this guy up for damage and using him as a powerhouse with word of power might actually work for us better than I would have expected. I like that. The end approaches. I like that a lot. Nothing a bit more blight on you. Ah, oh, we re he resisted the blight. It's okay though, you're pretty much dead now. There you go, and you're definitely dead. Beautiful. This group has absolutely done an amazing job. This expedition at least promises success. Um get rid of that for now. More heirlooms, I like that. Another battle. Just some brigands. Not particularly hard, especially with a surprise on there as well. Oh, ho, Renetta with the insta kill as well. That's even better. Amazing stuff. Keep on with a word of power here. Do the noxious blast as well. It's you dead. And you are very close to death. Of course you go for my boy here. It's okay, he's fine. Easy, easy fight there. And we got a few more curios here. We'll just go and check those out. Just, just these two here. Okay. Step back through here. 
And I'm glad, I'm definitely glad we did the extra adventuring here. Do we have bandages still? We unfortunately do not have any bandages right now. Unfortunate there. Got rid of those a bit too early, I guess. And this is just a buff. Okay, let's leave the mission then. These guys did an absolutely fantastic job there, I think. Got some good stuff. A good amount of money. Adrenaline burst, that's kind of good. Um, it's fine. That's really good. Filthy's not great, that's fine. That's good too, I like that. Okay, we've got some good stuff there. Really good stuff indeed. And let's first of all... Ooh, we've got exactly 35,000. Very nice. We'll check what we've got going on in here. Uh, anyone want to bring on? No new classes there available to us. We'll leave those as is. Um, and let's get into the last few diaries here that we have available. Um, so we got one from Basilla here. Um, but Dr. Sandwich Junkie. There's uh, been an ever-growing tension around the Hamlet since Kimber Morgan's death some weeks ago. I didn't know her too well, but some of the others are taking it hard. Eileen especially is not doing well. A beautiful smile is gone, replaced by the same grit-toothed scowl the rest of us seem to carry around. I asked her to dance a little, um, at a little party we ha uh, were holding the other night, and barely got more than a grunt in response. Oh well, it was fun while it lasted. I hope that smile comes back someday. Another news with taken down another of my ancestors' creations, a mass of pork and evil magics that the other hogs worship like royalty. Still, I'd hardly, hardly call it noteworthy. Even um, I had a few pigs to practice spells on. What little girl didn't? I'm more upset the poor thing wasn't part of its mis misery sooner. So one thing just to, to remember to do here before we forget is go over to Eileen here. And we're changing her over to this. She's now got her golden helmet on instead. Great outfit change there. And yeah, let's get into our last few. We've got two more diary inches and we'll end off the episode. This is by Gargoyle Guy. Um, musings of Navarre um, kept oddly in a nice leather-bound book. Tonight I have returned from my first mission here in the estate. After our hunt of the, f uh, of the filth was done, we ran into a mad tree. I wasn't scared of it after all. Um... The last sentence is written shakily, slightly shakily. After that, we ran into the uh, into a few old friends of mine. Seems their flock leader still wants the head um, of their prize horseback. Not likely, so long as um, it has my ring in its head. Very nice. Rose, she smells of finely cared for linen and bandages. When we camped, I offered Rose a spot of tea. They failed their brow as if um, they were used to the other treatment. It doesn't help that I interrupted what was apparently a status report. Thankfully, we spent some time chatting before bed. Turns out they prefer to be treated as an equal. I'll need to pick up um, the slack around here if I want to overly rely on them to help me heal the others. The only question I have left about them is, why am I surprised they don't wear rose-scented um, de toilet? <laughs> Interesting. And then that bagman. He smelled of um, fetid blood and hickory, such as such a noxious yet um, enticing odor. In truth, I felt as if the mindless idiot could do just about anything he sets his mind to. Na 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 bagman. He keeps saying that a lot, like some child. I've opted to get closer to him, as he's likely easy to manipulate after all. If all I've got to do is say some silly words and do a silly little dance to get him up for the kill, then that's easy enough to do. Thanatos, burn powder and death. It's very faint, but I can definitely smell the death looming off his ragged, um, ragged vestments. In combat, he was just as liable to hurt himself as much as killing the enemy. Anytime I'd leap past him, I'd see the glint of his dagger and get a whiff of the incense from his censer. It filled me with dread, um, as if he could rend my soul. If the opportunity forced Thanatos to save himself or others, I will keep my distance, but if that leader of ours bade me um, bade me go on with them, I could not disagree. Seems the assassin party that went off to the Warrens to kill the pig ran into a few more of my friends. Seems that they are um, content assaulting cohorts as well. Unless they also had a reason to go after that group. I do wonder why. 
really, really nice. And then also we got a second one here for the next day. I strolled by the graveyard this evening on a whim. There was a small group of uh, group mourning at one of the gravestones. After they left, I took a moment to visit them myself. They were two that had flowers. One grave was also very fresh. Arashad was the first. The ground grown over with um, sprigs of nightshade smelled faintly of wax and the scent that billowed from the manor on the hills. I took some time to tend to the grave, plucked the weeds, replaced the dead flowers in a vase, scrubbed the moss from the stone. I am not sad to have. Uh, um, I am sad. I am not sad to have ever met Arashad, but I'll be sure to come tend his grave whenever I can. The second read Kimber Morgan. The flowers were flowing over um, the fresh, lonely uh, soil. The scent was almost overwhelming, save for the scent of laudanum and curative salves coming from the um, spare satchel. One of the local barmaids from the group had left it at the base of the tombstone as some kind of offering. Between how the town is mourning them and how they're honouring them, I tr truly feel less of a person having never met Kimber. A few drops seem to, um, to muddy a few words on the page. So I really like this. So it seems that Navarre is has this like sort of interesting like power where he has a really sort of acute sense of smell. I kind of like that as a detail. And also, yeah, him him sort of being the grave tender, coming to the graveyard and sort of helping people out. I like that as well. Really good idea. But yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Really, really good diary entries across the board. I, I am so regretful that Kimber died, but honestly, the stories that have come out of that death have been some it's been outstanding. You guys have really, really hit the nail on the head with just how powerful it's made her death feel to me and to the series. It's so impactful, and it makes it feel so much more real that you guys are writing about it even now. It's, 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 it's amazing. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.